Hey everybody, this is Sean Seymour with 358studios.com. Hey, I took a look around for a case solution for my Einstein 640s from Paul C. Buff, and I just couldn't find anything on the internet. So I created my own solution with the Pelican 1610 case. It has a nice handle that pulls up, so if you're in an airport, you can roll around. It has pluck foam insulation, which makes it really easy to uh, get this set up. And again, I'm using the Pelican 1610 case. The first thing you want to do is lay out your Einstein heads uh, the way that you want. I chose to put all four of them in one side so that I left room for the radio slaves and for the cords. So if you lay out your Einstein heads, mark them, and then pluck your foam. On this, it's real important on the first layer to not pluck the foam underneath your tilt adjustment handle. But you are gonna go ahead and pluck the foam on the thumb set screw. So you see here the tilt adjustment handle still has foam underneath. Go ahead and outline the rest of your layer here. We're still working on the first layer. Pluck the foam like you did for the first one. Once you're done with that, go ahead and lay your first layer on top of your second layer and outline it. This will give you a good template to work from when you go to pluck the foam for your second layer. The difference between the first layer and the second layer is that you're gonna pluck the foam on the tilt adjustment handle in your second layer. So here we are. You can see that the foam is still there for the tilt adjustment handle. And now we gotta go ahead and pluck that out. Make sure you're only plucking this out for the second layer. Don't pluck it out for the first layer. Leave the first layer there. Now we've gotta pluck out the foam for the set screw, for the umbrella set screw that's on the Einstein. We want a nice channel so that that'll slide in nice and easy. And again, this is only on the second layer. Do not pluck this out on the first layer. Just slip it right in there and it sits nice and snug. Okay, let's go ahead and put our second layer over the top of our third layer. And if this is confusing to you at all, our third layer is actually going to be the top of the box. So I'm calling it the third layer, but it's not gonna be on the bottom of the box. It's actually gonna be on the top of the box. This one should be exactly the same as your second layer. Pluck out all the areas for your set screw, for your umbrella, for your tilt adjust handle, and for your thumb set screw. Set your Einstein lights in there and make sure they got a nice snug fit. And there you go. Now to finish all this up, what I did is I went ahead and I put a little bit of gaffer's tape on. This is the finished version of the case. I think it's kind of cool that right in the middle here I've got a spot for the wireless slaves that go on the Einstein. And the other thing I did is I went ahead and I plucked the foam on the right hand side and put in my cords. You can't see that on this version, but that's what I eventually ended up doing. The gaffer's tape is really important because as you pull your lights in and out, you end up tearing up the foam. So be sure that you use that. I've taken this on several shoots now, and this case has been absolutely bomb-proof. Have a great time shooting out there, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.